Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and today I am giving you a lecture on SSRS. Topic I will be covering in today's lecture are how you can generate dynamic columns in SSRS. Most of the time what I have seen is like reporter, uh, the people who are working on SSRS are facing this difficulty that they have to show uh, dynamic uh, like details in horizontal manner uh, so that they have to generate dynamic columns. So they most of the time encounter two situations. First of all they have to generate dynamic columns. in. Uh, doesn't matter how many columns they have to generate the columns just contain the data so in this the first example will work for you and in the second example what they want is they want a fixed number of columns like they want three columns and they want rows to be dynamic like data one should come in first column then data two then data three details are still coming horizontally but when all the three columns are being filled by the data it has to come into the next row and do it recursively so I will be covering both of this lecture uh, example so let's start in today's example I will be using Northwind database I am just using this company name column in the customer table to display data uh, horizontally I want to display these fields uh, like the data within the fields like my company names like my customers in a horizontal manner so let's look into the example uh, I will be covering first example uh, in the first uh, like I will be showing you first example first then say the second one let me show it to you okay I think I have flipped the example let me show first example first then I am using RDLC just, just don't worry about the Visual Studio I am using the RDLC so these are common with SSRS these are just a local report now in first example you can see um, I am generating all the columns basically 91 columns with the data I have in my tables so this is the data and I am generating this out of them now what I have to do is for this uh, I have uh, like here I have used a static data set so doesn't matter first I have this customer table into it now coming to the report one let me gen generate it for you I just have to let me sh I have a toolbox here I just have to drag a, this matrix here as you can see now in the report data what I will do is I will select company name in the column and basically column header and in the data also I'm selecting the company name and I want to I have to delete this uh, row group then what I will do I will be doing uh, deleting this column uh, heading also but I'm just deleting rows only now I'm not deleting the group also so now I have this one now in the first form what I used is I have used a report viewer I have just pointed it with the first uh, like report one so I just have to run it and you can see it has generated dynamic columns with the data now I know this is not the solution for the second example in the second example we need to have fixed columns so for having fixed columns and dynamic rows uh, we have to do some SQL trick now what I've done in the SQL trick I have created two views first of all my this view uh, this view will generate row number and the company name so this is the query for this view I have generated just a row number now in the second view what I have generated I have used a pivot operator to generate this output now I have this dynamic column so how I have generated this let me show it to you now in this pivot query let me show it to you let me replace it now what I have done is I have generated a company name okay I have got a company name from my first view that is this one having row number and the uh, company name into it I have first time getting the company name now what I'm doing is I'm mo uh, like uh, dividing it by doing a mod of the row number so that I can have this out three output like 0 1 2 because if I divide uh, like mod it by 3 I can have only three type of remainder first 0 then 1 and then 2 now after then that I am generating row number again partitioning it by row number and ordering by anything you can use company name also and you I have selected like let me do company name it will generate me right up output name so let me run this query now here you can see I have the all the company in ascending order into the columns so 
what i am doing is uh, like if you uh, don't uh, if you are not familiar with the pivot then you can uh, check my lecture on pivot also it will help you more in understanding the pivot so i won't be covering all the concept of pivot here what i have done is i have uh, got my company name then i am uh, having this uh, i'm like uh, modding my uh, dividing by row number with 3 to get these three remainders then i am partitioning it by like row number mod 3 so that I can have all the columns uh, otherwise it will miss some of the companies it will just show only the three out uh, basically three companies if I don't apply this partition by so uh, if I select this now I have the output which I want if I write it, this output down in the view now here you can see I have write it down in the view for this one let me order it by company name also Okay, now if I run my example, second. In second example, if you will see the report, I just have to do nothing. I just in the static data set, I have just uh, binded that view out, which is generating three columns. Now, if I select this view, I have my output. So, if I will just bind my any of the table with this view it will generate me the same output what I have used is I have used a normal table let me show it to you column 1 column 2 and column 3 and if I will run my second form then I can have the output which I want so with a sick, uh, little SQL trick you can have your both uh, like your output which you require like first of all generated dynamic columns this you can achieve on report side only now over the second example I have used pivot operator if uh, like again what I am saying is if you are weak with the pivot operator I, or if you don't know the pivot operator uh, refer my lecture on pivot um, to contact me if you want any help then you can contact me on my email ID also my contact number is and my Skype ID also if you need any private lectures on SQL then I am also available I will I can provide you private lecture on SQL and SSRS also so be happy stay learning and also uh, if you want like the script and other thing you can download it from my website that is textfire.in I will be copying uh, like basically providing the link where I will be uploading all of these details. Thank you. Keep learning. Stay happy.